My name is Hoyne. I'm a consultant psychiatrist and editor of Global Psychiatry Archives. And in the uh, series Mental Health Explained, Dr. Vipul Janadan is talking about ADHD. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Vipul Janardhan. Uh, today, I want to talk about Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder, or ADSD, uh, which is a very common name. Uh, by It is uh, famous by name ADSD. So ADSD is a neurodevelopment disorder. Uh, so it affects both adult as well as children. Despite this prevalence, there are many in misconceptions about ADHD. So let's let us uh, delve into it, understand what ADHD really is, and uh, what are the symptoms and how will we manage how we manage the ADHD. So ADHD is a con uh, condition that affects a person' ability to focus, control impulses, and regulate uh, regulate their energy level. It's not just uh, it's not just uh, regulating the energy level. It's about uh, about having too much energy or being uh, uh, easily distracted. So ADSD uh, can impact various aspects of life, including school, work, relationship, and and uh, difficult for attaining the task. Um, ADSD is typically diagnosed by psychiatrist. Uh, may it can even persist uh, in the adulthood as well. It is important to note that ADHD is a res not result of a laziness or lack of discipline. It is a complex disorder that involves neurological, ba neuro neuropsychiatrical basis. There are three main types of ADHD. Uh, first, predominantly inattentive type. Uh, this type of ADHD is characterized by difficulty on focusing, following instructions, uh, completing tasks, People with this type of ADSD may seem forget, uh, seems forgetful, easily distracted, or disorganized. Pre uh, second is hyperactive, uh, hyperactive impulsive type. So in this type, in hyperactivity and impulsive behavior are most common uh, and the most prominent symptoms. Individuals may struggle, uh, struggle to sit uh, still, act without thinking, or interrupt other uh, other frequently. Third one is combined type. So as the name suggests, it is a combination of both uh, hyperactivity as well as the in inattentiveness. Uh, it is most common form of the ADSD. So uh, ADSD symptoms can vary widely from person to person, uh, but some of the most common symptoms are difficulty in paying attention, trouble staying focused on the task or playing uh, or some activities, difficulty in organizing things, avoid or being reluctant to engage in the task and that requires sustained mental effort losing the necessary uh, necessary for the task uh, losing things necessary for the task and like activity like going to the school or something fidgeting tapping uh, tapping hands or feet or, or or moving from here and uh, here and there so the uh, talking excessively or in or interrupting others in conversation, acting without thinking about the consequences. These symptoms must be present for at least six months uh, for diagnosing ADSD and may be in a, inappropriate for the person's uh, de development level in order to be diagnosed as an ADSD. So what are the causes of ADSD? The exact cause of the ADSD, ADSD is not known. But it is believed that involve a complex uh, attribution of the both uh, environmental factors, neurological factors, and some ge genetic. So uh, ADHD tend to run in the family, uh, suggestive, uh, suggesting a genetic component. It if the parents having ADHD, there are more likely chances of having developed into the ch children. Uh, and there is brain structure anomalies and research shows that the people with ADSD have difference in some brain structure that I don't want to go into the detail of that. Environmental factors, uh, exposure to like toxins during the early pregnancy and early childhood has been linked with ADSD, uh, like low birth weight. And uh, there are some other factors and other causes itself. So uh, <clears throat> these are also uh, some of the association with ADSD. Diagnosis of ADSD is a comprehensive evaluation. 
it involves the team of the psychiatrist, psychologist, and uh, after repetitive battery, uh, like uh, uh, Connell's rating scales, Vandelberg rating scales, and uh, after that, uh, we can diagnose. But generally, these occur in multiple settings, not in the one setting. Then, uh, then and there, then we can diagnose ADHD. Uh, all the symptoms uh, must occur in the multiple setting. Uh, other is the like, how will we treat and how will we manage ADHD? So, for important thing is medication or pharmacotherapy. Uh, there are two types of ADHD like agents like stimulants or non-stimulants. So, stimulants like methylphenidate. Uh, uh, these are the drugs that helpful in the ADMS, ADHD and most commonly prescribed drug. Other is like atomoxetine. These are non-stimulant. Uh, these are the other available drug. And other is clonidine. Uh, these are the other agents which is helpful in treatment of ADHD. Apart from uh, medication, there are behavioral therapy uh, that will be helpful in uh, organizing the chil children uh, <clears throat> or uh, help and how to organize his task and giving uh, giving little bit of task uh, helpful in uh, management of the ADSD patient. And third most important part is psychoeducation. So ADSD pa pa patients and their parents, this is a very important aspect because it will helpful for them how to deal with them. Uh, such type of things occur and such type of uh, things. So, so it is an important aspect in uh, a, for ADSD patient because it is also a type of a caregiver burden uh, to the patient as well as to the family members. Uh, fourth more important thing is lifestyle changes. There are few stud studies that suggest of if we uh, change the lifestyle like regular uh, sleep wake cycle and <clears throat> appropriate sleep and other things will helpful in managing the symptoms of ADSD. And uh, the last uh, but not least, support system is an important. Building a strong support system is essential. Uh, this can include counseling, support groups, and working closely with teachers, employers to create an, an, a good environment for the children who are suffering from ADSD. So ADHD is a complex, uh, complex and often misunderstood, uh, uh, <clears throat> misunderstood disorder. But the right support and treatment, individual with ADHD can lead a successful life, fulfilling lives. If you or someone, uh, someone of you uh, suffering from ADHD, so don't hesitate uh, and seek professional help. Thank you very much. Now, so um. So um, some people say um, that's very common in adults. So is there a difference between the adults and the children? Or do all adults have to have a history of ADSD that started in children? That's a bit of a discussion about that. Yeah, this is actually, I think, what uh, like uh, uh, in adult ADSD, there are symptoms uh, that was present in the uh, childhood and uh, there are symptoms that is still persist uh, uh, in the adulthood also uh, and one more uh, uh, one more entity i have seen that geriatrics adsd so even so it is seen in the oldest population all, as well so there are few uh, few uh, when you do the literature review then you will find out that it is also the thing so so but uh, Anyway, but the things are we have to manage this, uh, whether it is in the adult or children. So I think management probably the same. What is the value of information, secondary information from relatives and school? Do you have to have that or is it just sometimes, you know? We... Uh, I think uh, is generally, uh, but uh, this is where... Well, uh, like uh, most of the teachers has report about the ADSD, but actually it is not the ADSD uh, sometimes because uh, it is inability to manage the teachers to their uh, kids uh, to the uh, so it sometimes it is not the ADSD, but it is over reported in case of the uh, like by the teachers. So uh, when you are diagnosing the case of ADSD, it is required to it, it should occur in the more more than two settings. Generally, DSM-5 criteria uh, focus on this. More than two settings is important for uh, diagnosing ADSD. So uh, it means that 
it should occur in the home as well as in the school. Can I ask you something? We call it ADHD. You call it ADHD. So what's the difference? No, no, we call it is ADHD. This is attention H. deficit hyper. H. All right. H. Okay, thank you. Sorry that I misheard that. So sorry for that. Okay, thanks a lot. And